In this video, I'd like to show you how to record measurements from metric scales. We'll begin with some basic knowledge. First, determine what number place is affected as you count from one graduation to the next on the scale. You are then to estimate the value of the next number place. So now we'll look at some examples. We'll begin with a metric ruler. When counting from one graduation to the next on this ruler, we see that the tenth place is affected. Therefore, all measurements should be recorded to the next number place, the hundredths, which is the estimated value. So the length of this pencil is 3.89 centimeters. Here's another example using the same ruler. In this case, the length of the pencil lines up with a graduation, and so this length is recorded as 4.50. And a final example using the same ruler. In this case, the pencil lines up with a graduation, and we'll record this length as 3.00. Even though the pencil lines up right on a graduation, it is important to record all the decimal places to communicate the accuracy of the scale. Next, I'll show you examples with a graduated cylinder. Volumes from this graduated cylinder, shown below, should be recorded to the tenths place because when counting from one graduation to the next, the ones place is affected. So the tenths, the next place to the right, is approximated. An important feature when recording liquid volumes is to have your line of sight directly in line with the meniscus of the solution. In this example, the volume is 36.4 milliliters. In this example, the volume is 21.4 milliliters. In this example, the volume is 35.0 milliliters. And finally, I'll show you examples with a burette. The differences between a graduated cylinder and a burette are as follows. The placement of the scales are reversed. The volumes from a burette are dispensed through a valve located at the bottom. Two volumes are recorded from a burette to determine the volume dispensed. Volume measurements on a burette are made from the top down as opposed to a graduated cylinder where measurements are made from the bottom up. Volumes from this burette should be recorded to the hundredths place because when counting from one graduation to the next, the tenths place is affected. So the hundredth place is approximated. In this example, the correct volume is 19.70 milliliters. In this example, the volume is 22.62 milliliters. Here is an example where a volume was dispensed from the burette. The initial reading, or V1, is 3.30 milliliters. V2 is 3.9 milliliters. Therefore, the volume dispensed is the difference between the two volumes. V2 minus V1 is the volume dispensed. In this example, V1 is 0.6 milliliters and V2 is 46.53 milliliters. So the volume dispensed is 45.93 milliliters.